Hey there! In today's video, we are going to talk about Virgin Orbit, a space company owned by Richard Branson, which has recently filed for bankruptcy. The company is currently working to find a buyer to save itself from financial troubles. We'll take a closer look at why the company is facing such financial difficulties, how it got to this point, and what the future holds for the space company. Virgin Orbit, a satellite launch venture owned by Richard Branson's Virgin Group, has filed for bankruptcy just a few days after the company cut most of its workforce and failed to secure sufficient funding. The company stated that it is working to sell itself and find a buyer to overcome its financial troubles. Virgin Orbit was founded six years ago with the aim of competing in the growing market for commercial satellite launches. The company made history a few months ago by delivering the first satellites into orbit from the United Kingdom. However, this high-profile launch ended in the destruction of its satellite payload, which was a significant setback for the company. Virgin Orbit filed for Chapter 11 with the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in the District of Delaware and received a $31.6 million commitment from Virgin Investments Limited in the form of debtor-in-possession financing. The company stated that this financing would help it fund its operations while it looks for a buyer. The bankruptcy filing is a significant setback for Richard Branson's ambition to compete in the space industry. Virgin Orbit's parent company, Virgin Group, has already invested approximately $1 billion in the business. The company went public by merging with a US-listed blank check company in December 2021, a deal that valued the business at more than $3 billion. Virgin Orbit is not the only company that went public through this route to file for bankruptcy. Another example is Boxed Incorporated, which completed its merger with a special purpose acquisition company in the same month and year as Virgin Orbit. Virgin Orbit said that it hadn't generated positive cash flows or enough revenues to fund its operations. The company also expects to report $1 billion in accumulated losses as of the end of 2022. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this.